This video explains how to plot mean and standard deviation by groups using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame called data is appearing and we can print the first six rows of this data frame using the head function, as you can see in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, our first six rows of the data frame are returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, our example data frame contains two columns called value and group, whereby the first column contains random numeric values and the second column is a group indicator. Now in the next step, we can calculate the mean and standard deviation of this data set by group. And for this task, I'm using the dplyr package. And in order to use the functions of the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the dplyr package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And then in the next step, I'm using the group by and summarize add functions of the dplyr package to calculate our mean and standard deviations. So after running lines 10 to 15 of the code, we have created a new data frame object that is called data MSD. And we can print the content of this data frame at the bottom in the console by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame that contains only five rows. Each of these rows is corresponding to one of the groups in our group column. And then you can see that we have created two further columns which contain the mean by group and the standard deviation by group. So now in the next step, we can draw our new data. And in the first example, I will show you how to use base R for this task. So in the first step, I'm using the plot function to draw a scatter plot of our data which contains certain elements such as the x lab, y lab, x, x, y lim, and the mean values of our data set. So after running lines 18 to 24 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a scatter plot which contains five points. These five points correspond to the means of our groups. And you can also see that we have labeled the x axis and y-axis accordingly to our data. Now in the next step, we can use the segments function to add the error bars to our plot. So after running lines 25 to 28 of the code, you can see that some error bars have been added to our plot. And now in the final step, I'm using the axis function to add some labels at the x-axis of our plot. So after running lines 29 to 31 of the code, you can see that the group labels of our groups have been added to the plot as well. So as you can see in this first example, we have used the basic installation of the R programming language to plot mean and standard deviations by groups. However, I think it's even a better alternative to use the ggplot2 package for this task. And for that reason, I will show you another example in which I'm using the ggplot2 package. And this second example is starting in line 33. So as a first step, we need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 33 and 34 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 34 of the code. And then in the next step, we can use our data MSD object that we have created before. And then we simply need to specify our group column, our mean column. Then we need to apply the geom error bar function to plot error bars in our plot and the geom point function to plot our mean values as points. So after running lines 36 to 41 of the code, you can see that another plot is appearing at the bottom right. This plot is also showing our means and standard deviations by groups. However, this time we have created this plot based on this typical ggplot2 style. And in my opinion, this syntax is much smoother compared to the basic installation 
of the R programming language. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.